Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your February 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too. So tell me about, uh, tell me about Virgo. What's going on with Virgo in love and the person that they are connecting with? Tell me about Virgo and the person that they are connecting with for January, not January, February 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Queen of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles. Um, someone here could be juggling a lot for work right now, or that someone here could be juggling you. Yeah, uh, perhaps, you know, they could be weighing the pros and cons. They're not quite sure who they want, what they're looking for here. It just could be an indication that also that there's a lot in your plate. And when it comes to love right now, Virgo, you guys are not really emotionally invested into love. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are just focused on what, what's on your plate right now. With the King of uh, Cups here and the King of Wands. Okay. This is interesting. I do feel like there is someone here that's, if you are juggling or that there's a lot on your plate, I do feel like the person that's interested in you it has gone off to explore other options here. I do also feel like this person might be bisexual here too. Uh, the Queen of Wands here and the Moon, Cancer Pisces here, the Two of Pentacles here and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like you're juggling a lot right now. I just feel like when it comes to romance, I feel like you guys are just really emotionally just not available for that or just you're closed off or that you're scared. Yeah, some of you guys are scared or fearful of being in a relationship. Now, even though you guys have fear about around uh, uh, surrounding that, some of you guys might want to be in the relationship, but the fear is holding you back, okay? Some of the cups here and the Hierophant here, the Eight of Cups here and the High Priestess. And do you feel like I do feel like you guys are definitely trusting your own intuition at this time or that you guys need to trust your own intuition at this time here? OK, uh, you know, I do feel like you guys might be in, in your head about this a lot, maybe thinking about this a lot or ruminating about this a lot. But you're being asked to trust your intuition. The King of Cups here and the Two of Cups here and the King of Wands here. And we have the Hermit here. I feel like this person is willing to give you the space that you need to figure things out here. OK, while this person goes off to explore other people. Maybe you're out there exploring too. Maybe you guys are, maybe someone here is questioning their sexuality here too. Okay. So I feel like maybe someone here is just not ready to jump in head first here. Okay. But I do feel like there is a masculine here that's willing to give you the space that you need to figure things out here. What else do we have here for Virgo? What else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for, work on for Jan not January, February, 2024, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, Capricorn energy. We have the Hangman, Piscean energy here. And we have the Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands here. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. I feel like this is your energy here. You just, you're just really focused on work. Like, I feel like there's a, someone here is a bit of a workaholic here, by the way. Yeah, uh, I just feel like someone here doesn't take vacations. Does, someone here doesn't take pee breaks. Someone here doesn't eat lunch. Someone here doesn't eat breakfast. Someone here is constantly working here. And I do feel like it might be a fight or flight response from a trauma that you dealt with when you were a kid here. Maybe there was a lack of safety or was, there was a lack of money here. Uh, maybe uh, someone here watched their parents struggle with money. And I feel like someone here just cannot stop working. Yeah, um, we have the hangman here, Piscean energy here. and. Literally, I want to say figuratively that someone here is like working themselves to death, basically. 
yeah, someone here is just not enjoying life. Yeah, someone here is not enjoying life, and they could see why someone here is not making space for a relationship here, okay? The Queen of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands, yeah, this feminine here is overwhelmed. This feminine here is overwhelmed. I feel like this feminine here is just like really overwhelmed, ha is having a hard time surrendering and just letting go here. It's kind of, it's like a worry thing. It's a fight or flight response. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Hangman, Piscean energy here with the Ace of Cups here. New love is facing this person here. Ten of Wands here and the Seven of Swords and this person is sabotaging this new love here. This person sabotaging this new love. The Five of Swords here and the Sun Leo energy here and the Hangman here and the Nine of Swords. Someone here is just not happy. Someone here is just not happy and they're not getting to getting to the root of the issue to figure out what's causing it, but instead they're running from it and they're overworking themselves. Okay? The devil here, the devil and the three. Yeah, someone here is just overworking themselves. Some here is like even doing extra credit work to like stay longer or to work extra hours when they get home. Five of Wands here. Someone's immune system is not so great. I do feel like someone here is always getting sick here. There's a lack of rest here for somebody. Yeah, there's a lack of rest. Clearly there's new love coming into someone's life. There's a soulmate connection here and someone here is completely sabotaging it here. Tell me about Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on for February 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Justice card and the Nine of Cups. Libra energy, Nine of Cups here. We have the Ten of Cups and the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. The universe is about to knock some sense into someone. So Vir Virgo, perhaps this feminine energy is the person that you're dealing with. Like I said, you switch the roles if you want. Yeah, I feel like the universe is about to knock some sense into somebody here. And they do feel like someone here is definitely going to like, you know, kind of like wake up here, you know, because I see someone here is definitely com coming forward and making someone an offer here. Okay, an offer for higher levels of commitment to see where things go here. Someone here is definitely realizing that this is a, like a blessing from the universe here and, you know, they shouldn't destroy it. Okay, we have a strength card here, Leo energy here, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like someone here, I mean, this person definitely feels a strong bond here. This person cannot stop thinking about this masculine here, okay? And they feel like this person cannot ignore this anymore. Yeah, I feel like they've been ignoring it. They've been pushing it away, okay? Tell me the Ten of Cups here and the Four of Pentacles, the Tower and the Magician here. I feel like this person is doing everything that they can not to have these feelings for you. It's like, it's not real. I don't feel this. I don't have feelings. Like this person is telling themselves that literally. Um, the Magician Gemini Virgo, uh, the Star card and the Four of Swords, the Knight of Cups here and the Seven of Wands. Eventually this person will come to their senses here and they would want to fight for this connection here. But right now they're really disengaged and it just seems very, they just seem very aloof and uninterested. And like I said, if that masculine is you, you could be like, you know what, I'm just going to give this person the space that they're looking for and they just focus on my own thing here. Okay, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.